I think I'm gonna let it be easy on you this time and go with the smell, smell test. Yes! Yes! Let's get this! And the feel test. Hey everybody, welcome to the Hutch Food Adventures. Today, I got another first time trying. And uh, I think I'm gonna let it be easy on you this time and go with the smell, smell test. Yes! Yes! Let's get this. And the field test. No, that's not fair. Really? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> the field test is so stressful. It's literally like the worst part of my day. <laughs> okay, smell. It's gonna bring light. It smells like, it smells green. Yeah. Yeah. You Is wanna it? feel it? No. You sure? Is it green? Technically no. Is it a vegetable? Is it like a leaf? Vegetable. Can I look? It smells kind of good. Yeah. You I can, can look. Mm -hmm. Toenails. Babe, what the hell is this? Fresh lily bowl. Mm-hmm. Wait, like like lilies, like flowers that grow outside? I think. Google it. And they're edible? It's yeah. like a snack or something? Yeah. Fresh lily bulb. Eating lilies in Asia is quite common. Whoa. Not, not only are, there, are they edible, but the flower pod are as well, either raw, raw or, or cooked. That's crazy, huh? Huh. So we're about to eat lilies. It's a Chinese herb. Wow. Interesting. Cheers. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Starchy, all right. I feel like it needs like salt or something. It needs anything, like salt. It can go salty or sweet. I would rather do salty on these because the crunchiness. But if you cook them, I wonder if they're still crunchy. No, probably not. No. Because it's like the crunchiness mm -hmm. goes soft quick. So I think that when you cook them, yeah, that softness comes out. Probably. But it just tastes like. Like a hard drive drive. Yeah. There's a slight hint of sliminess to it. It's like a, a celery stick that's been sitting out for a while. That's like cut thinner with less flavor. And celery sticks have minimal flavor. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best way that I can describe it. You can put salt slimy. in something sweet. Are you getting the slime? After I chew it like two times, then it goes soft slash slimy. But like There's slime the slime inside of it. But the slime isn't like a lot. It's just the but it's first thick. one wasn't a lot, and the second one I was like, oh. I think maybe the thicker it is. Was it terrible? No. Was it good? No. But maybe if we do it the right way, you know, it probably is good in a good recipe. Yeah, I think that if you cook it and put it in something, or even if you put it in a salad, like it says for for texture, mm -hmm. I think it'd be good. It has a nice crunch to it. It does. Next video, we're gonna go outside and eat petals off the rose bush and see if it tastes mm, the same. I think you can eat roses. I feel like these are really thick. Like, are these really lily petals? They're like, bulbs. Like oh the yeah, like part. they're. Oh, I see, I see, I see. All right, All right. you guys. There it is. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching. Hit the noty button for the noobs like Roscoe. Mm. Share with your friends. Let us know if you like lily bulbs. Thanks for watching. Another video. Another episode <sighs> of the Hutch Food Adventures. I just finished the whole word. Period. That's bull.